I've played Guild Wars 2 for over 20,000 hours, and I've learned a whole lot and collected just about everything in the game. So it's a perfect time to go around again. Join me in the adventures of my completely fresh account known only as the Microtransaction Enjoyer on the quest of obtaining and unlocking everything in the game, from legendary gear and mounts to living world story episodes, maps, and ultimate gem store quality of life, purely through efficient and somewhat sensible gameplay. No real money required. Can I, wait, how much is a celestial um, accessory? Can I just buy one? <laughs> because I'm, I'm going crazy. Uh, oh, it's quartz, isn't it? Yeah, hang on. Oh, 17 gold. Oh, man. You're killing me, ain't it? With these prices. Well, that does make sense. Charged quartz is a daily time-gated material, so it is going to be a little on the pricey side. So that's, uh, you know, it's understandable, guys. Yeah. Ooh, that's painful. That is pain. But it's all right. Um, we'll just do some meta events. We'll do some, like, proper meta events. Uh, I'll go to Ender Dragons and do Dragon's End. Dragon's End, once again, is going to carry us. We're going to get hard carried by Dragon's End. My favorite. Back piece is easy too. I could actually get the back. In fact, yeah, I should get the back piece now. Um, what is it? We are buying uh, the Lunar New Year one, right? Yeah. It is Lunar New Year is what we want. And I want it to be, uh, let's see. It's going to be exotic. Here we go. Yeah, let's see. Which is the cheapest one? Uh, I might as well spend my last few gold on this. Let's see. Uh... Let's go ahead and do this. Looks like it's the Lucky Great Tiger Lantern. All of these will actually do, I believe. I think they, I think they, all, I think they all have Celestial. I think. Let's find out. Uh, so we should be able to go ahead and grab this. Eight gold, so not too bad. Let's see. I'm pretty sure that, yeah, yeah, this is stat selectable, as we can see here. So we can get an exotic back piece with any stats that we'd like. Uh, and just boom, away you go. Easy. Significant upgrade. We are going to have to buy a uh, a gem for it, which is actually a little expensive for Celestial. So we might actually not even do that, uh, at least for a while. Because um, it's going to be charged quartz, right, is what we need here. Which is going to be a little painful, um, I admit it. Because basically the reason why this is so expensive is, um, is unfortunately, the Celestial gear it has a time-gated component to it, which makes it pain. We've got to go to Ender Dragons, guys, because I need some gold, and that means I need Dragon's End. But anyway, gamers, today uh, we're doing something, and that something is I'm going to finish this account, okay? Because, you know, I, I kind of stalled for a little bit. I AFK'd because I was tired. Uh, but this time we're going to finish the account. We're going to get away from this level 30 Whisper's Secret Torch. We're going to get the job done and gear our character up, and it's going to be great. We're getting on the meta train, guys. We're going to make some big gold. We're going to source up. We're going to juice up. We've got full celestial armor right now. That's pretty good. But we've got to get the trinkets um, and the weapons. It's going to be good. Nice. Let's go. Let's go. I guess we better break out, guys. Let's break out of prison. Your foot key has failed you. Reach for the key. I haven't got the key. Let me out, guys. I have a roll of bandage now. Here we go. <laughs> Look at that. ArenaNet presents End of Dragons. You know, it kind of makes it sad they didn't do that. Oh, oh, that wasn't supposed to happen. Um, but yeah, I, I like this actually. This was good. I like that it had an intro and a credits. That was pretty sick, actually. I'm a big fan. Yeah, I think my camera did slightly break there, though. You know, I'm sorry about that, Aiden. I ruined it. Um, unlucky. But that's how it is. That's how it goes. Now I have to run all the way to Dragon's End. That's the bad news. You know, Guild Wars 2... <laughs> Guild Wars 2 is so scuffed, man. But I love it. It's good. Whenever I think about the game, I just realize how scuffed the game is. <laughs> scuffed. Okay, so we need to swim all the way to Kaineng. Then we're going to run <laughs> through Kaineng. Through Echobold and then to Dragon's End, guys. This is, I'm, you know, what I really love doing in the Zero Day Hero is desecrating um, the devs' intended playstyle. It does amuse me. And they can't stop me as well. They can't stop me from doing it. I will do it, and they are powerless to prevent me. Look, guys, it's the portal. We made it. 
We made it. Let's go. Nice. And now we've got to run to the next map. Wait, actually, is there a Dragon's End coming up? Oh, there, oh, there's a Dragon's End right now, actually. But we can just join the meta train after this. It's time to join the meta train and get some fat gold. I actually do need a lot of gold, though. I'm not sure I'll be able to get enough today. It's quite expensive. You know, we, we've picked ourselves a very expensive gear set. At least we've got Firebrand now. I can fully unlock Firebrand, too. I can give quickness. Yes. How many more? Oh, yeah. We need to go get, do some hero points in... Uh, Probably in Xingjie, I guess. Well, I guess we could try. We could grab some while we're running through, actually. Ah. We could do some climbing. Get some hero points. I do like the music in Kainang. I, I hope we have a lot more um, of the, the Jade Punk. You know what I mean, guys? The Jade Punk stuff that we had here. This was really good. It was big. I want more of that. We have made it. Nice. Hooray! Now let's run to Dragon's End, guys. Whoa! Let's go! Will it let me into Dragon's End? I think it will. Doom Nexus! Nice. Let's get in there. Jade Gate Waypoint. And it's as simple as that, guys. We have made it. We have made it to the final map. In we go. Woo! Ah, Dragon's End map takes place after the point in the story that you have not yet reached. The map's events will contain spoilers. Proceed. Okay, proceed to Dragon's End anyway. I'm in. At least they give us the choice, guys. They've allowed us to, to get in there. Yeah. And we are in. That's it. We have arrived. I guess I could probably do some... Yeah, I could do some hero points here, actually. Massive. There we go. Okay, hero point. Another hero point obtained. Oh, yes. Is it time? Yes. The quickness mantra has been unlocked. Very good. That's what I'm talking about. Big damage, guys. Now we've got some big damage. We've got some big quickness. This is some good stuff. Okay. Gamers. This is it. A big milestone. Firebrand done. There it is. We're actually nearly back where we were. We're almost back at the start, guys, with our booster gear now. Firebrand fully unlocked. There it is. Wonderful stuff. Okay. So now we just got to finish up uh, the rest of this. Lovely. A bit of gold farming. A little bit of gold farming here and there. A little bit of gold farming. And we're going to be in business. Okay, look. We're complete. We can give. Look. We can give quickness. We are now a functioning build. It feels good. We have been given life. We have been given purpose. Very good. Lovely. Huge. We got him. Nice. That's a pretty good one. Let's see if the Leviathan's up. We can double up. Because uh, what we can get here is, again, we get that Ambergris. Oh, yeah. Two gold. That's exactly the kind of stuff that we need right now. Two gold is a big payday. Is there a Leviathan? Uh, actually, I might not be able to... S actually, no. I think I can see it. You can see it through the fog, can't you? So it's like there isn't a Leviathan. That's unfortunate. Let's see if there's a map that has a Leviathan. Getting one in would be pretty good, I think. Leviathan. We actually do have one. They're in New Kainang, though. Let's see if... Oh, it looks like there is one up. Let's go grab that. And there we go. Another Ambergris. Oof. We are... We're just raking it in, right? I don't, you know, the, the thing is, um, glass cannon builds suck. They aren't good in Guild Wars 2, uh, unless you play at high level. And most people don't play at high level. Therefore, for most people, glass cannon builds aren't good. Ah, uh, here we go. We have the Iron Legion Staff. Very nice. That's our Celestial Staff. That's going to be replacing the Great Sword here. And there we are. We basically have our, you know, slightly scuffed weapon set. Back in business. I like my 1% Force Sigil there. I like my Celestial Iron Legion stuff. <laughs> oh, this is funny. I will say this is funny. So how much gold do we actually need then? Um, so we need five pieces, pretty much. Average is like 17 gold. So that's 85 gold, guys. We need 85 gold. 
I just snubbed so hard. That just, that sounds a bit, sounds a bit wrong, to be honest. Yeah. Yes, you know, <laughs> to snub means to have experienced double dragon. Wow. I mean, double dragon is a pretty epic story. <laughs> So to give some context on Double Dragon, guys, um, this this is Double Dragon in real life, uh, in Guild Wars One rather. Invoke the power of the dragon. For eight seconds, you and target ally are enchanted with Double Dragon. Adjacent foes are dealt five to thirty fire damage each second. Additionally, when you or your uh, your ally uses skills that target a foe, that foe is set on fire for three seconds. To explain what that means in real life, guys, imagine that one end of you is you, and the other end of you <laughs> is your ally. The burning effect is being applied to you. <laughs> okay, we got it, never mind, actually. Yeah. Yeah, very good. Yeah. Ah, oh, lovely. There we go. Very nice. No high rolls, but you know what? That's okay. We deal with that. We'll, you know, I'll, I'll live with that. Okay, I have 36 gold. So yeah, we're, we're definitely getting there. We're getting there, guys. How much do... Uh, I, I want to get trinkets first here, because we actually have pretty okay weapons right now. I, I could use some sigils, I guess, but that's not the end of the world right now. Like, oh, This is so painful, dude. Look at this. Ch look at this charge quartz, guys. This is horrible. Look at that. Fucking 17 gold. Okay, let's place. I'm gonna overcut this guy by one copper. Ha ha ha. Okay, so let's get a ring. Uh we could get yeah, we need we need accessories here. We actually don't have one, so definitely need to get one of these. 12 gold! What the fuck? Place a buy order for this. Here we go. Boom. I'm pretty sure people will sell us those. I desperately need that ring though, like 12, 12 power ring. <laughs> I like that. What's the biggest impact? How much is the amulet? Yeah. Here we go. The amulet is 10 gold. Oh, let's go. All right, let's get let's get that bio. I mean, oh, this is a actually is this that bad? No, this is fine. We're basically done. Yeah, we're we're basically done, guys. Because like we're gonna get this buy order in here. So now we have three items um, being bought. That's uh, this one, this one, this one. So we need two more, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is fine. This is fine. We're actually pretty much done. Because I, I probably have some stuff that I haven't got rid of yet. You know, we have some things to sell. Not that much, though. But we've got a few things. Like another Dragon's End pretty much gets us there, right? That's the, uh, that's the good thing. So I think it's fine. And then mission complete. Mission accomplished, gamers. Sell that, sell that. And there we go. Five gold. Beautiful. So in theory, uh, those items should buy um, or should come through at some point. I think people will. We'll see if the people actually intersell the stuff. I'm not totally sure if they will. Uh, but we'll, you know, we'll see what happens. If we can pick up three... Celestial items. And some bargain prices, yeah? Oh! Oh, dude! Wait! Check that out! It actually sold! That's crazy! People actually sold me the stuff! I was not expecting that to be so quick. Check it out! Look! Someone actually insta sold me a full uh, set of Celestial gear. That's really nice. So yeah, we just need an accessory. And we need this ring. And then we are completely done. So, how much gold do we need? We can do buy orders again. I might try and sell some more stuff. And get at least another uh, another couple of buy orders in here. Yeah. Man, yeah, Celestial is such a pain. It really is. I wonder if they should change the recipe. It really is such a pain. Giving players easier access to that will be so good for the game, I think. Okay, boom. To Quaddle, done. Oh, nice. And 500 achievement points. That's pretty good, isn't it? That's pretty good. One gold. 
Nice. Easy one gold. Oh, I didn't get any teleport to a friend's. That's actually really unfortunate. That would have been highly convenient. But we do now have nine gold, which is pretty good. The Patriarch is down. Success. Alrighty then, here we go. 3% and the boss is done. I might go and check for a Leviathan actually. See if one's up. Leviathan could easily be up. The Celestial Gear will be ours, guys. The Fungal Finale will be completed. Oh, I... Ooh, there is one spanner in the works, actually. I do need to... Um, I do need... Yeah, I need, I'm going to need a Dragon Storm too, I think. Yeah, I definitely do. Okay. Uh, okay, here we go. Yeah, I'll need Dragon Storm to finish the job because I need some... I need more gold. Because I need a weapon as well. I need the torch. I do not have the torch. And that is bad. I'm just going to intercell a lot of the stuff, I think. Because we just need the gold. We just need that. We need the money. Okay, we need the money and we need it now. Let's see if, um... Let's see if we have... <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> the, the noodle water is, is activated here. Okay. Okay. Good job, team. Very nice. Okay. <laughs> Let's see if we have Leviathan up. Done. Yeah, it's a shame I can't do the pinata. I haven't got to Path of Fire. I've got no teleport to a friends either. It's a bit rough, isn't it? 30 rares. That's going to be a good chunk. I think we just barely get away with this. This should be just barely enough gold to get everything we need. Because we need, a, we need a transference sigil and a smoldering sigil. I do need a bursting sigil. That is going to hurt. I'm not... Oh, actually, it's not that bad. It's only five gold. I thought it was more like ten. Uh, but it's not as expensive anymore, I guess. So actually, it's fine. It's fine. This is going to be really nice, though. Because we get the two gold. Potentially a decent drop. And then some of these Tyrian defense seals as well. That will be lovely. Oh, we have a laurel, too. We can use that laurel. Okay. I have 100,000 karma. That could also... Oh, are you kidding me? Of course. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Gift of Aureen, legendary drop, ascended axe. Boom. Draconic lodestone, up to 20 gold, and there it is. It feels so good. I've never got that on my main, by the way, or on the Zero to Hero. It feels so damn good to get those drops. Okay, we're going to get two Olmakan supply boxes here. Okay. Come on, high roll me. Very mediocre. Not bad, but not great either. I'll take it though. Is the dust good? Yeah, the dust is okay. Alright, okay. We should definitely have enough now. This should be it. So, I think what we're going to do here is, well, hang on. Let's figure this out. Let's figure this out. I might want to hit the anomaly just to really squeeze a bit more gold. Ah, uh, yeah, I was going to do dailies. Let's go... Wait, hang on. Uh, have I been to Iron Marches? I haven't. Uh, can we get there for the anomaly in time? Is it even worth doing that at this point? Um, uh, I don't think I can be bothered, actually. Uh, I think we will not. I have enough stuff, I think. We have got all the loot we need. Okay. Gamers, it's time. It is time to finish the job. To finish Fungal Fighter. Are you gamers ready? To finish Fungal Fighter? I know I am. It's been a bit of a grind. You know, those Celestial... Those cel that Celestial gear, guys, okay? It's expensive. 
It's expensive stuff. Okay, we go. We have a trading post. Oh, it's the personal one. Unlucky. Uh, right. So now we've got to go sell some materials. And let's go ahead and do that. We should be able to have enough. I feel like I'm going to regret... Um, I'm going to regret not doing that anomaly. I can see it. I can see it happen. Dude, clown is in the game, guys. Evil clown 1976. I'm adding him as a friend. Here we go. Boom. Evil clown online. Huge. Although, ah, uh, we probably should m mention this. I am on the European servers, Evil Clown. You may have selected the uh, North American servers. So we may not be able to interact, um, but that's okay. You could actually play on um, EU if you wanted to. And I do play on NA sometimes, of course. Okay, let's see if this is going to be enough. That's 11 gold. Because we are just trying to get it done now, I am just going to do a little bit of uh, insta-selling. Getting that Ascended drop has actually really helped. I might deliberately not use it, because uh, it is a bit of a high roll. So I might deliberately, uh, I might deliberately not use it. I think that doesn't matter, though, because as you can see, we've got a pretty good collection of stuff. I think we have enough gold. Should I get the, should I get the trinkets first? Maybe that's the way to go here. Let's, let's get the, this stuff first. So we need charged quartz right earring i will actually place a buy order for this we'll place the buy order because we can save gold and we actually do need we need to conserve some gold here i think so we need a ring now and that's just 10 gold i'll pay look i'll make it 11 gold so it looks very tantalizing okay so that's done now we need the axe and the torch Celestial uh, Reaver. Uh, okay. Good, good, good. Yeah, the Firebrand Axe is okay, but we can we can do better. I want to get the exact setup here. Right. Pearl Brazier. Uh, that's 13 gold. Do I want to insta-buy this? I'll, I'll actually go ahead and place a buy order. It's buy order time. Here we go. And we'll do the same. We will do the same with the axe. Okay. Reaver. I'm going to buy order in. There we go. So now all we have to do is be a little bit patient. Yeah. Don't you have some buy orders already? Um, yeah, they actually filled. So now we have to put them in again. Okay. And let's see, what sigils do we need? I need transference for my staff. Here we go. Let's go ahead. I'll just insta-buy that. It's not that expensive. Transference and smoldering. There we are. There's the smoldering sigil. And we also need a bursting sigil. Over here. And there we go. That's five gold. Let's pick that up. And that is going to just about do it. Uh, what I might go ahead and do is just get a bit more gold now so I can just insta-buy all of that stuff. I probably need like another 10 gold to insta-buy stuff. Yeah, I, I would use the gift of Aureen and obviously that would really help, but it just feels so ridiculous, right? Like, it, it, what a crazy, uh, what a crazy drop. Open gift of Aureen and sell it to Vendor. You know, should I actually do that? That's not a bad idea, actually. Oh, these skins look pretty cool, actually, don't they? It's pretty sick. Look at that. Daily's done. Mmm. Two gold. Nice. Okay. That's pretty decent. You know, having the guild hall to harvest actually would be pretty good, wouldn't it? That would be a, a good little burst of gold. I think what we'll do is I'll use this Black Lion statuette uh, for a coin. That's one gold right there. Not bad. Not bad. I guess we just need to go and sell some more stuff. Is there an... Uh, yeah, there's no way I'm going to get the Anomaly now. I already did chat Garrett as well. Yeah, not doing the Anomaly was a foolish, foolish mistake. Let's see. Do I have any currency conversion I could do? I wonder if Karma would actually be good here. I have 100k Karma. I can probably get like a few gold out of that from the ore stuff. Oh, and I actually... Ooh, we do have this, which could be good. 
We have bro we're just gonna have to sell everything, guys. We're gonna have to go all out, right? Like we're right at the end here. But I've run out of stuff to do daily that isn't instanced. So we're in trouble. We're in serious trouble here. Okay, 12 gold. Is that bare just barely enough? Let's go ahead and do it one by one. So let's cancel the buy order or the, the buy order for this. Let's get the jewelry. I'm pretty sure we can buy order both of them now. This is going to be extremely agonizingly painful, guys. I, I hope you like suffering. Let's suffer together. Charged quartz ring. Oh, oh, six more gold. Oh, there it is. Done. Lovely. Okay, and then the earring too. Nice. Ow. That was incredibly uncomfortable, but good news. There we go. Boom. Boom. There it is. Full celestial. There's the gear. There is the trinkets. We have the stuff. We can put our transference sigil on there. We can put the smoldering sigil there too. So now, all we've got to do is finish our weapons. So, we need to now obtain these two items. These two items. We actually can't afford a buy order. Can we afford a buy order? No, we can't do a buy order on either of those. So we are going to need some more gold. More gold. Okay. So, I'll tell you what we will do. Uh, I think the play here is I'm going to cancel both of these. And then we'll buy the torch. Because the torch is going to be a massive upgrade because it's level 30. We actually... Yeah, so if we do this, Celestial Brazier. So, we'll insta-buy that. And we can put our sigil on it. And that's it. This is a really, really good account now. You can see that this is now upgraded with that sigil. And there you have it. That's... I will finish the job. We're not done yet. We need to actually get the Celestial Axe. Um, we're not done. But, that is a really, really good character made completely from scratch without doing instance content really uh, and doing anything cheeky there just the very basics the very very basics boom lovely you know if i'd done this a little bit better i'd actually be done with this actually that's the funny thing yeah we're raid ready this is a raid ready character guys it actually is you could easily raid on this character no problem Oh, yeah, it's so annoying that I just barely don't have enough uh, to buy that final item. How much is it going to cost me? I need another six gold, right? Yeah, about another six gold or so. That's unfortunate, guys. Yeah, we need... We have seven gold. I need 12. So I, I need another uh, five gold. Let's see, what could we actually do? Um, what would be a good way to do this? You know, I would do daily strike missions, but again, I'm, I'm not allowing myself to do daily strike missions. Or daily fractals. Like, one set of fractals and this will be done. But I have deemed that to be illegal. I mean, this is still a pretty good state, to be honest. Uh, this is a very good account at this point. It's raid ready. The axe isn't perfect. And funnily enough, we actually could use an ascended axe uh, and then get celestial on that, which would be really funny. Um, but again, I will finish the job.